Local and national leaders met today to tackle the critical lack of affordable child care here in San Diego County. It's an issue made worse during the pandemic when hundreds of kids child care centers rather shut down and many never reopened. Next month, though, San Diego City voters will have a chance to increase the number of local daycare options. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on Measure H and how it would use Parkland to help address this costly crisis to many families are facing. Well, that's right. More than 40 city owned rec centers like this one here in North Park could potentially offer child care. But currently under the city charter, city parkland cannot be used for that purpose. Measure H, though, on the November ballot aims to change that. I think that it's it's something that should have been done from the first. Normal Heights mom Danielle Knauf is a strong supporter of this idea, which would use parts of rec centers and other city-owned spots as child care centers. And even when she was little in daycare, um, it was still like a thousand dollars and that was what like five years ago, so I can only imagine how much it is now. A recent study from the San Diego Foundation finds that on average, the annual cost of care for one infant in a licensed child care center in San Diego is over $19,000, increasing to more than $33,000 for two children. On top of that, a lack of available child care means thousands of families are forced onto wait lists. We've seen so many families having to either choose between going back to work or staying home and taking care of their kids because child care is just so expensive. San Diego City Council member Raul Campillo says if voters pass Measure H this November, the city would then have the authority to use rec centers for child care. We can then explore with child care providers, with contractors, what those changes would be, what the investments would be, so that we can finally provide those slots. Campillo says increasing the number of child care options would mean more competition among centers, which could then bring down costs. For Claremont resident Talisha Davis, the high cost of child care forced her to make the decision to give up the possibility of a day job. And I stay at home with my kids because of that. She and her husband, whose kids are now two and six years old, support the move to use city rec centers for child care, as long as they also continue providing the other services they offer the community. Previously, the price of daycare consumed a huge part of their monthly budget. Where we were, we were paying about the same amount in rent as we were in childcare. What would be the point of going to work if I'm just paying for them to go to daycare? So that's why I stay at home. It shouldn't be a punishment to have children. They're amazing, but you also should be able to afford it. And in order to pass this November, Measure H has to receive 50% plus one vote. For more information, just go to CBS8.com and click on the help button.